All right, so OpenAI is at it again. Yeah. And you know everyone's talking about them, right? But this time, it feels different. Yeah, fully. It's not just another tweak. It's two brand new AI tools they've just dropped, and they could really shake things up. Mm -hmm. We're going to dive into DALI 3 for images yeah. and their new text-to-speech API. But what's got me really interested is that OpenAI is going all in on making this stuff useful. No more just showing off what they can do. Right. It really feels like they're moving from those labs you know, out into the real world. Totally. Yeah. And they're basically saying to developers, here you go. The keys to the AI kingdom, now go build something amazing. It's a pretty exciting time to be in tech, that's for sure. It really is. So imagine this. You're working on this project, could be anything, a website, whatever, and you need a really specific image, like super specific. Okay, I'm with you. Let's say you want like a fluffy cat wearing a tiny crown. A crown. Yeah, riding a unicorn on Mars. Now with Delhi 3, you just type that in. Wow. And it just creates it for you. Like It can do that. Yeah. It understands exactly what you mean. See, and that's what's really different now. This isn't just Delhi from a while back. It's like they've taught it to understand what you mean, not just match keywords. Right. It's using these advanced diffusion models. So it's not just grabbing parts of other pictures. It's actually generating something new. And it gets all the details right. Yeah, like the fur on the cat, the dust on Mars. It's incredible how realistic it is. So it's not just saving you time searching for the right stock photo. It's like having an artist on demand who can create exactly what you need. But I did read that they focused DALI 3 on just creating the image. No more editing tools built in. Yeah, that's true. But I think it's a smart move. They're focusing on speed and accuracy. Makes sense. Make the best possible image as fast as possible and leave the fine tuning to other software. So what's the damage? What's it cost to use? Well, businesses are going to be looking at around $0.04 per image. Okay. But of course, then you have to compare that to hiring graphic designer, right? <laughs> or using one of the other image generators out there. So it's about figuring out what makes the most sense for each business. It makes you wonder, though, what's going to happen to graphic designers as this technology gets even better? Yeah, that's the big question, isn't it? Like, are we headed towards a future where everyone's using AI for design? It's definitely something to think about. But OpenAI isn't just changing how we see things. Right. They're changing how we hear things, too. Their new text-to-speech API is well, pretty mind-blowing. Oh, yeah. Instead of that robotic voice we're used to hearing from AI. For sure. This new API offers six different voices, and they sound incredibly human, like really expressive. Each one is designed for a different use, too. Yeah, and that's actually really important mm. because what they've done is they've got two versions of the AI modern going on. Oh, really? So one that's all about speed, yeah. like for things like, you know, like a voice assistant or maybe video games where you need it to be instant. Uh-huh. But then the other model, that's all about quality. Yeah. So think like audiobooks or podcasts. Oh, wow. Where you really want it to sound rich and human and engaging. So what you're saying is we might not even be able to tell if we're listening to a real person or AI soon. That's the direction it's going in, yeah. It's pretty wild, like having your own recording studio right in your pocket, it's right? It's amazing to think about. But I did read that they're still working on how the AI handles punctuation, yeah. you know, like to make it sound natural. Oh, I see what you mean. Like a question mark should sound like a question, not just a weird pause, right? It's all about those little nuances that make us human, getting the AI to understand those. Exactly. But they'll get there. They're getting closer every day. But for businesses, this is a game changer. Think mm -hmm. about it. The pricing is based on how many characters you use, starting at 0 0.014 scenes per 1,000 characters. Okay. So that's huge for anything that uses voiceovers like advertising or e-learning. It could really change those industries. I can see that. It'll be interesting to see if we suddenly start hearing a lot more AI voices in our daily lives, won't it? And what does that mean for, you know, for voice actors, for example? It's a lot to consider. But what I do like about what OpenAI is doing is that they're really thinking about the bigger picture. They've built in all these moderation features yeah. to both of these new tools. To me, that says they understand they have a responsibility here to make sure this technology is used ethically. And that's the right approach. Hmm. As AI gets more advanced, we need to be able to trust it. And part of that is being transparent. Definitely. OpenAI is making sure people know when they're interacting with AI, and that's crucial. So we've talked about the cool factor, the potential benefits for businesses, but it all boils down to one big question. Are these tools just cool gadgets or are they something much bigger? That's a big question. Are they going to change how we create? 
how we consume information. That's what I'm left thinking about after this deep dive. It's definitely something to keep an eye on, that's for sure. Absolutely. It's going to be fascinating to see where this all goes.